Hey guys, welcome back. Episode 3 of Food Plots 2017 and today is uh, till and seed bed preparation day and I'm out here working in my big food plot. Um, if you've seen my other videos you know that this is the, the one that I had clover planted in and I uh, saved that side and didn't spray it with uh, glyphosate and right now I've got the thing worked up. Let me turn around here and you can see what I've done. So this side over here is the side that had the clover and now I've got it worked up pretty good right now. Um, and I, like I said, I didn't spray that side. To give you an idea, this side over here was sprayed with uh, glyphosate. So you see how much better this worked up um, with my disc than the green um, clover plot. Um, this was all cut by a neighbor. He harvested the, the clover for his hay bales and took those but right now I'm getting it worked up and next weekend I'm going to plant it. Um, this side will go back into uh, uh, brassicas this year and then this side here will get clover again this year and maybe a little bit of rye and that's kind of the rotation I'm going to do every year I flip flop them so that I get that clover putting the nitrogen back into the soil. Hey guys it's day two and uh, prepping food plots, uh, working the soil and applying fertilizer today. So what I'm doing is since I'm planting brassicas in these food plots, um, you know it's a good fall uh, food plot blend. Um, planting I'm planting uh, purple top turnips, uh, dwarf essex rape, and uh, forage radishes. And I'm going to put those in each of my food plots here. And what I'm doing right now is spreading fertilizer. And so I'm putting a fertilizer in at a rate of um, 200 pounds of triple 19 per acre, 150 pounds of urea per acre, and then I'm also putting uh, 400 pounds an acre of pelletized lime on top. And so what I've done is I've worked my fields and now I've just put the fertilizer and lime down and now I'm just finishing working it in. And so what I do is I'll work this into the ground because I'm not planning on planting until uh, probably about five days from now. So I don't want to let that fertilizer, especially the rhea, just sit on the ground because it will uh, uh, sublimate, basically go from solid to gas and it'll disappear if we don't get into the ground or if you don't get any rain on it. So that's what we're uh, doing today, getting that worked in. And I've got that done now. So looks like I got it pretty well taken care of. Don't see any fertilizer just sitting loose on the ground right now so you did a pretty good job. So here I am at one of my smallest plots and this thing's not even an eighth of an acre. I call it a micro plot and what I'm going to plant in here, I was thinking about planting brassica mix in here but you know as I look at what I've got going on here this gets really shady over here and I just don't think uh, I've tried I don't think it'll work and I've tried planting them here before with uh, not a whole lot of success this works probably best going into like a clover mix with uh, probably put some rye in with it and I take a walk over here I've got a surrounded by apple trees so there's a nice big apple tree right here there's a really big one right there I have uh, apple trees all over through my property and this year is a good year for apples. So I might put, you know, I might try to see if I can get a few brassicas to grow in this small area over here. It gets a little bit more sun over here and I might have a little better luck than back on the, uh, back on the other side there where it's getting a lot more shade. So I'm going to go check out my last pot that I, uh, I worked up today and that will finish it out for today. Okay guys, I just finished uh, working up my last plot and working the fertilizer and lime into it. Um, so this one's going to be ready to plant now. This is probably uh, my half acre plot. 
Um, just to give you a reference, if you've seen in my other videos, uh, my big tower blind there overlooks my big food plot, and then this is basically on the other side of a creek that goes through here, and that's where this one is. And a couple things to point out in this plot, I've got a nice big apple tree here, a couple more trees over there, spin around, another big one right here. Uh, the only problem is, is these apples are usually gone off the trees by the by the time the rut starts usually all these apples have already dropped so there's not much to hunt over really so that's why that's why I put the food plot in um, we'll take a look over here this food plot will be brassicas that brassica blend I talked about earlier I put the same amount of fertilizer and lime on this plot so basically 400 pounds of lime per acre 200 pounds of triple 19 per acre and 150 pounds of urea per acre and so now we've got this worked up worked up good I leave a couple of these trees in the plot just because uh, I don't know I, it seems like they the deer seem feel a little more comfortable with a tree or two in there but that could be all a bunch of BS but that's just what I was thinking let me know what you think about that in the comments you know I know one thing, having them in the middle of the plot isn't much fun trying to work around them. I don't know if it's really worth it. But anyway, I leave them in there for now. So yeah, here's the rest of this plot. When it comes to hunting season, this is where the deer typically are. They, they like to stay back away from that big tower blind and they will, they will, they will hang out back here. And so it'd be nice if I can get, this is the harder area of this plot to grow food though. It's closer to the woods. It's needed a lot of lime over the years. As you can see, the ferns up there uh, indication of acidic soil. So I've been working on this for probably seven years now, and I think I'm getting it to the point now where it's it's getting pretty good. But got to keep working on it. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. If you like it, click the like button. Um, if you think others may enjoy it, go ahead and share it with other people. And look out for other videos I've got coming in the future. There'll be another one coming in a few days for uh, planting. And we'll get that one out uh, probably sometime early August. Hopefully you'll get to see that. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.